Job 1 verse 6. Job chapter 1 verse 6. If we can read 6 to 12. Verse 6 to verse 12. Uh, I won't read the whole, but I just want to look at this verse. Verse 8. Verse 8. But write 6 to 12. I want to speak about God preserves his people. Preservation before God is a way of preparation for a destiny. Have you ever find that there's an opportunity for you to do what is wrong? But you turn away. Despise that you don't have anything that can be pointed at the present. But God will always build a head because you are in a process. You are, you are being prepared for what God has in store for you. Psalm 31. You read from 22 to 24. Can you see that verse there? Yeah, you verse it says the law preserve the faithful. Who are the faithful? Those who turn away from doing evil. There is an opportunity for them to do wrong. Everyone is having opportunity to Everyone respond. Everyone is having opportunity to fight back. Everybody is having opportunity to lie. To sin against God. But there are those who turn away because they honor God. They remain faithful. And the Bible says God preserves them. Why he preserves them? Because they are on the journey. He's taking them somewhere. He does not want them to die where they are. Proverbs 2 verse 8. Psalm 40 verse 11 takes God's mercy for you to discover the truth. If not, you can find yourself doing what is wrong. The mercy of God open your understanding and makes you to operate in truth. And when you operate in the truth, you are preserved. preserved. We are not all. Genesis 45. If you read from verse 1 to 10, Genesis 5 from verse 1 to 10, when God wants to preserve your life, there are some people you thought they will help you, they will fight you. There are some people that even in the family you find that they are working against you. Because you are, you are prepared. And you are the one to save them tomorrow. You cannot preserve others if you are not preserved. When God preserves you, you reach your assignment. When you are on the assignment of him, you are able to save others. Matthew 7 verse 7. Matthew 7 7. And John 15 verse 7. John 15 7. Galatians 2 verse 20, you know it. Mahalata 2 20. When you are being preserved, things will never happen the way you are thinking. It will happen God's way. James 1 verse 21. 41, yes. Verse 10. Isaiah 41 verse 10. Yes, 41 verse 10. Do not fear anything, uh -huh. for I am with you. Do not be afraid, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Be assured I will help you. Stop, I will there, stop there. Be assured that I will help you. Do not be dismayed. Do not fear. I will strengthen you. The moment when you see verses like that, they are telling you that you are in a journey. And God is preserving you. The fight that rise 
will never destroy you. Let me give you this word as a prophecy. God wants to take you where no one in your family has ever been taken. And he has not started. And he is taking you. But he is preparing you. When you see things are tough, it's preparation. When you see forces against you, it's preparation. It's a journey towards where you are going. You need to rejoice and look unto him, the author and the finisher of your faith. Amen. When they fight you, say I'm preserved. When they are against you, say I'm preserved. When they speak against you, say I'm preserved. You are about to be what they never thought you can be. You are about to shock them. Because God is on your side. I can see God on your side. You are about to shock their lives when they begin to see you driving that car. When they begin to see you driving a car of their expectation. You are about to shock them in the name of Jesus. You are about to shock them when they see your house. Because God is preserving you. And that house won't change you because you have been prepared to stay in that house. There will be no pride. There will be nothing to you. No competition. Because you are worthy of what God is preparing for for you and it's coming your way in the name of Jesus if you believe shout hallelujah it is not easy to be preserved have you ever find you want to preserve food you take them to refrigerator they began to feel cold so that they maintain waiting for the time when they are required there's a time where you will be announced Right now, now, there are some challenges on your challenge. left and on your right. But there will be a time that God has set for you that there will be shock when God announces you. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Hebrews 10 verse 39. We are not the ones who shrink. When we face a challenge, we move forward. We are not the ones that when things are tough, we begin to blame God. We praise Him. We don't, we don't shrink, shrink back. back. Why? Why? Our confidence preserves us and make our soul to be useful before God. Genesis 40, verse 12 to 15. Verse 12 to 15. We need Christians who can say, when they see others becoming successful, they rejoice because very soon they are following. God can give someone Toyota Corolla because he wants to give you Mercedes. God can give you someone Mercedes because he wants to give you Range Rover. God can give someone Range Rover because of you. He wants to give you Ferrari. I don't know if you are hearing me. He can allow some people to rejoice first in front of you when he's busy preparing you for a time like this. You have been waiting for a time like this. He was preparing your friend. Now it is your time. He was preparing your brother. Now it is your time. I say it is your time to do better things than we have done before. He preserve you for such a time like this. If you believe, shout hallelujah.